Hey y'all, it's Gina. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Do I have a winner for y'all today? I'm talking simple, quick, easy, and delicious. When I tell you guys, literally, it took me probably, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, 20 minutes to cook this. The ingredients that you see here, you can get around it. You can get it a little cheaper. You can buy smaller shrimp. But these ingredients will probably cost you roughly about $25, but you'll see how much is here. It's probably could easily feed a family of four, but it's so easy, y'all. If it's just two of y'all, you have some leftovers. Let's go. So first, we're going to chop an onion. This is a half of a white onion. Um, I like to chop mine up very fine. So let's chop it. Ooh, then garlic chop it. Ooh. I know y'all like that. Anyway, this is my favorite seasoning, the Cavenders. I use, this is two pounds of shrimp. So I would say maybe a teaspoon a pound. So two teaspoons of the Cavenders to season up your shrimp. You could use any all-purpose seasoning. You don't have to go out and buy that specifically. Old Bay, I do suggest, but if you got some red lobster seasoning or seafood seasoning, something to that effect, you're gonna use about the same, a teaspoon. I would say a teaspoon total of Old Bay because it tends to get a little bit spicy for you. So maybe do two teaspoons of the all-purpose and one teaspoon of the Old Bay or seafood seasoning. All right, then we're going to take a stick of butter. Yes, we fat around here. And a whole stick of butter, melt it in the pan and start placing your shrimp in your pan. I prefer to cook mine with the tail on. It looks prettier when you're cooking, but by all means, take yours off. If that's what you like to do, boo, take your, take your tails off. Just like I always say, if it's something in here that you don't like, don't put it in there. You don't like onions, don't put them in there. But certain ingredients for shrimp scampi, you're gonna need some uh, lemon, you're gonna need some garlic, and you're gonna need some butter. Onion, you can do without. All right, so we're gonna Saute for about two to three minutes on each side. Flip them all over. Do not overcook your shrimp. I said that last time, but I'm going to say it again because it's that important. So I cook mine in two batches. Don't overcrowd your pan. When the first batch is done, take them out. Set it down in a plate bowl off to the side. All right. In the meantime, be boiling your pasta noodles per the package instructions. This is my second batch of my shrimp already flipped over and done. All right, we're gonna take that out and then we're gonna put our onion that we chopped up into the melted butter and saute the onions till they get kind of soft and translucent, maybe five minutes, not much, cause we, top, we chopping them up super duper small. So that's important, they'll cook fast. Don't burn them y'all, turn your heat to about medium at this point. Then we're gonna add our garlic. I, I added the fresh garlic and a little bit of minced garlic because shrampy, because scampi is supposed to be really garlicky and that's what I love. So just, just trust me on this. So you're gonna saute your garlic only for about maybe a minute until you start to smell it. Don't burn it. Just until you start to smell that garlic, get a little fragrant, then you know it's ready to roll, all right? We're going to squeeze the juice of a whole lemon. Yes, yeah, seeds and all. Yep, that's what I did. But anyway, <laughs> just pick the seeds out. I wasn't into getting gadgets and trying to strain it and all that kind of stuff. A seed ain't never hurt nobody. They grow lemon trees. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have lemons. So just pick them out. Don't spaz out. Pick the seeds out. Yep, I dropped a few more in there. And it's okay because we got them out. <laughs> so your whole lemon, the juice of a whole lemon into your pan get the seeds out <laughs> and then you're going to stir it all up and saute it up just a little bit longer and then with some chicken broth i only added probably a cup a cup of chicken broth maybe a cup and a half i told y'all i don't measure i'm sorry i apologize but just trust me about a cup cup and a half use your judgment and then what you're going to do is you're going to bring this to a boil and you're going to reduce it down. What that means is let some of the liquid evaporate out. You're going to concentrate the flavors. You'll see it's going to end up just like this. All right. So once it has reduced down, it's ready for 
the next step and the next step I should be grabbing some heavy cream yep there we go this is how we make it creamy okay if you didn't want it creamy you wouldn't do this step it will be still be shrimp scampi but this is how we make it creamy we're going to add about I would say three-fourths of a cup of heavy whipping cream all right stir that all in make it all nice and lovely all right make sure you stir it up really well all right and then y'all i didn't have enough parmesan cheese so make sure you get at least a bag <laughs> i don't even think i had any ingredients at first because i forgot it so you want some parmesan cheese you don't need much you'll see my bag was almost empty and so i ended up throwing like maybe a fourth of a cup of parmesan cheese in there but really you could go with like a half it's similar to like making an alfredo if that sounds familiar to y'all all right so stir in your cheese make sure it melts really really well all right and you can kind of bring it up to a boil not too hard because you don't want your cream to separate so a little boil and then you're going to drain your noodles and then we're going to start to add our pasta directly into the sauce all right this is where it's getting good because all the pasta is going to get in that nice sauce and get to swimming all around. So add your pasta, stir it up. Once you get it all in, grab those shrimp that you cooked. Yes, even the juice because it's going to be some juice sitting in the, in the plate. Pour that in there too. That's nothing but flavor. Pour it in there. All right. Stir your shrimp around, but don't go too crazy with it. You still want to see the shrimp sitting on the top of your meal. You know what I'm saying? So it looked nice. So just stir it up a little bit. And then, you know, I'm fancy. So I had to break out my little parsley, my dry parsley. You can use fresh. Do you, boo? You can use fresh. But sprinkle your dry parsley on top just to add a little green. Make it look like you know what you're doing. And your creamy shrimp scampi is ready. We paired it with a little steamed broccoli and garlic bread. 